But music is one of the few things that really knocks out the words. That reaches where we are unable to go. Words are really handicapped in a way. Music goes straight in somewhere. Straight into the stomach. Into the bones. The cells and into the heart. The very core of us. It connects it all together and makes us feel whole. There's something ancient about it. I'm not the best at handling setbacks, resistance. At least not at the moment. I can get really, really sad. But then, over time, something happens. It transforms. You really have to focus on the positive because in the music industry, as a woman in the music industry, there will always be a lot of resistance. One needs to find a way to transform the resistance into a drive, into a strength. All right, so we'll go through the door. And then set it on, on its stomach. Yeah. Its back. Yeah. This is gonna make it sound really good, this thing right here. My mom, my mom wants us to laminate them at <laughs> his place, Matt. What is it? I don't know, they're just some very old your mom like it's them? it's this, that Swedish artist what's what's um famous Swedish character artist right mm -hmm. where did you get them on Skansen? he draws every everybody as pigs quite often mm. yeah. yeah she said make placemats next time I come back I want to see them on your table uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel as if the songs already exist, in a way. They're already out there, or in there, waiting for me to catch them. Sometimes I stand in their way, I let myself be distracted. I peel off layers of layers, like hammering out a sculpture in stone, until I see the form, the shape. Kanske i och med att man spelar det fyra gånger kanske det kan komma in på and, alltså de två sista eller någonting. Ja. The songs are often wiser than me. 
Sometimes I write about stuff that I don't understand yet and that I might see clear in a year or two. I can be very emotional while I write, but I don't get emotional about my own lyrics after I've written them. To be able to perform them, to pass them on, I have to let go. is split, so I had to glue this up. There are different positions because th this one's a little bit smaller. I think, I think, I mean, they're in really, so yeah. it's just the wood split. How long do you tell okay? Three dollars. Torque teed. You look at store in there, and they have a morning spar. Det vi märker. Ja. I have tried riding with other people, but there's something in my personality that makes me give up something too early. It's as if I surrender my honesty or something. So I need to have time with music alone first to know what it is I'm doing. Then let other people in. I think it might be because I grew up with people who took up a lot of emotional space. So I have a weird ambivalence in me. I'm strong and I have tons of integrity in my own process, but I can very easily be tilted over as well, lose my grip. Stop hearing myself. So I've learned that I have to be alone for a while, at first. It's a room by picking up on. <laughs> yeah, all the demos are in this level, but that's kind of a point. control. Several brains are better than one. And to let the music live again, you have to let it meet someone new. And the meeting between my songs and the musicians I work with is one of the most enjoyable parts of the record making process. It can be absolutely magical.
It took me quite a while to find my true voice and to love it. Your singing voice doesn't lie. It reflects everything in your personality. It is like a barometer. Your vocal cords forms a small, truth-telling mouth inside your mouth. <laughs> det, blir, det blir genast bra så att det binder ihop låten ja. tycker jag alltså sen kanske alla grejer inte riktigt ska vara där eller exakt sådär men nej det kan man ju tänka äh. men det var ganska kul ja. man tappar bort sig själv lite I love the flaws. I find it fascinating how a voice develops during a lifetime. I love older voices. It is as if the whole lifespan, the resistance in a human being's life shapes the voice and gives it a unique tonality. The flaws are what makes an artist unique. Det finns svamp fortfarande. Vad sjukt. I grew up with almost only women around me. My mom, my grandmother, my great grandmother. They were all quite strong working class women from northern Norway. My grandmother was welding for oil platforms while raising five kids. They all had creative dreams that they suppressed. My great-grandmother was a poet, for example. But she wrote at night, when her kids and husband were asleep. She didn't release anything before she was 70. Then she got this really beautiful collection of poems printed. And she went out to see the world, which meant jumping on the ferry that went down along the coast. I'm the first woman in my family who lives from her art. I've been thinking a lot about that. 
why I managed to fulfill my dreams. Was it the time I was born in? Or was it that my mother managed to give me something, a confidence, that she and her mother didn't get? There is a lot of control in families, silent ways of holding each other down in all class layers. But one thing is certain, the freedom that women has today was built by the women before us. Every record is like starting from scratch. All new, with blank pages. As if I've never done it before. Recreating myself, my music. Now I have the experience to know when it's good enough. A gut feeling to know when it's done. But I still stumble and fail on the way there.
the back so yeah. Maybe that's taking it the wrong way though. No, We've got some guitar ideas to it too that's more in like the rhythmic. I have a tendency of making things harder for myself. I wrap the songs up too much. I don't trust their naked simplicity. Trust. Being an artist is all about the trust. Trusting one's ideas. That they have importance. To yourself, maybe to the world. That moment when an idea occurs, to grasp it, to take it seriously, even if it feels banal. All the greatest art in the world were once only embryos in someone's brain. A white paper, an empty score, a first image. The difference between making something beautiful or not is simply belief.
was seven or eight, I discovered the piano. It became my secret place where I surrounded myself in walls of sound when no one listened. I remember playing loud and hard with a sustain pedal pressed down at all times and howling on top of it. It was probably not very beautiful, but it wasn't music yet. It was more a meeting, a game between me and the sound. Someone told me to be more silent when I played. They put me in classical piano lessons, but I didn't really fit in. I wanted to play jazz, rock, and improvise. I got self-conscious and only played when no one heard me. I thought I was only a singer, but it was when I added my playing that my voice really started to shimmer. I guess that's why it took me a long time to share my piano playing with the world, because it was so personal for me. It was like a sacred space. I still really yeah. search for that feeling, the meeting between me and the sound. I write for myself because I have to, but I'm aware of the audience all along. We need the listener. A record player in an empty room, it's not really music, it's just sound waves. Music is about meetings between humans, vibrations between our bodies. Sometimes when I play live, I forget time, myself, fear, everything. I just feel really liberated and energized. <laughs> Så 
ha ett tempo och dra in några kanske vi inte kan hålla några bilder. My experience is that it is first when you take the songs out on tour that you really discover their true personality. It is like seeing if you've raised your kids well, given them the tools to meet the world. Do they communicate well, touch people, or create a wall between themselves and the listener? I quite often get very touched when I'm writing songs. Not because I get overwhelmed by my own brilliance or anything, rather because I have to open up a vulnerable space in myself to be able to capture something really good. Test the boundaries, meet the pathetic, face the emotion, raise the ceiling height for myself. But when I perform the songs live, I don't get touched in the same way. It is as if they have already left me in a way, and that I'm just revisiting them for a moment. The goal then is to move the audience, not myself. <laughs> Sound is just sound, but if we add emotion, it might become music. Production and music is almost like set design in the theater or in a film. It has to underline the story 
It is a slave to the core of the song. It can go against great friction, but it has to have a purpose. Oh, it's all about you and your constructed truth, the world so cruel. Sometimes, when I record, I have trouble hearing myself. If there's a lot of strong opinions and loud voices around me, I surrender. I lose touch with myself. But then I realize what I've done and I have to reclaim my vision. It is an ambivalence between being too polite and being an anarchist. That's why I've decided to record this record all over again. <laughs> to change the production idea, the location, everything. The story, the songs, they need something different. This record needs to be recorded live. It needs that kind of frailty, that nerve. It needs to have its heart on its sleeve. <laughs> Get it together, would you? That's the most piss poor Play session I've seen. Play the fire. Do it better, Play sir. the fire. <laughs> Come on, give us more than that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on, I'll bring you a bongo, man. I'll bring you to life. <laughs> Good job, huh? How long entertainment in one person? Where are you going? We paid for, we paid for this show. Get back here. We got front row tickets. You know how long it took me to save up for these? Get back here. <laughs> Det är statiskt, men du förstår, jag gillar ändå stämningen i det, jag gillar att det är så monotont på något sätt. Mm. Jag, 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 tyck, jag håller med, men det är monotona är ju låten i sig, ja, så, så det, det, kan, det kommer vi utifrån. Det, men varför vi... den inte blir en traddgitarr? Nej, men, nej, men jag tycker det där, som, det där är mycket mer traddigt ja, än, vad, okay. än, vad, än vad jag tycker det här är, mm. det tycker jag. Alltså, eh, jag, 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 vill, jag vill liksom ner till kärnan ja. i alltihop. Men, och vad är det? Och, och, um... Det var bara skönt för mig att vi har lyssnat på den, för ja, det, det är den enda låten som jag har så här, där är det någonting som ja. jag känner, mm. alltså som jag gillar ganska mycket. Ja. Sen, sen det, jag gillar också när man när du dubbar sången för att förra, det tycker jag är jättefint för det här. Men det är det som att... Vad heter låten? You make me real. Som ett intro. Ja.
Change is about to happen. As this tour is drawing to an end, I found out that I'm pregnant. The big world is shrinking and the small world is growing. It's an amazing feeling, so out of control. Someone else's heart is beating inside me. There's a lot of preconceived notions about being a mother and a female artist. As if you will disappear or only start writing children records once you become a mom. But a lot of the female artists that I really admire have been mothers. And they have kept on touring, recording. They found space for their creativity. I know it won't be easy, but I do believe it's possible. I'm prepared for the change and I'm ready to face drastic limitations. But I honestly believe that motherhood and artistry is not two different aspects of my life. They are one and the same. And hopefully becoming a mother will give me a new experience that will generate new types of songs. <laughs> 